Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram. We have a series on nutrition in premature babies and uh, this video is going to be on non-nutritive sucking. It's a very important topic as it starts the sucking process maturation. You can review my earlier video on sucking feeds in premature babies as well which I'll share the link, the information. Non-nutritive sucking is where a baby sucks without receiving any nutrition or any sucking when the fluid is not being introduced via the mouth. This can be on a dummy or it can be the mother's empty breast that is the breast after she has expressed the milk. So how do we offer the non-nutritive sucking? And uh, The babies have been shown to suck in the womb as early as 11 weeks gestation and sucking even in the extreme premature babies has been shown to calm them down. We can use a mother's breast after emptying by expression and this uh, non-nutritive sucking can start quite early. Uh, the preemie pacifiers can be used for babies below 1.75 so you get small pacifiers which fit the small mouths of these babies. You may need to source it because it's not widely available. The pacifiers, it's better to use them even if your unit is baby friendly because the mother may not always be available and the nurses can use the pacifier. It helps to uh, soothe the baby when they're crying or as a measure to relieve pain as well. So the typical feeding progression according to the gestation, so the baby can suck uh, from 24 weeks onwards and this is the non-nutritive suck. So you don't need to wait if the baby is stable enough to suck, you can offer the non-nutritive sucking and as I said it can be used during procedures even in the extreme premature babies. You'll be surprised that they have a good suck. And the nutritive suck of course starts by 32 weeks and gradually progresses when they are able to coordinate the suck swallow breathe. The benefits of non-nutritive sucking mainly include the development of normal sucking pattern. So it helps to coordinate and this promotes earlier oral feeding. The, uh, we should associate the association, the, we should encourage the association between sucking and having a full tummy like baby can suck even when offered a tube feed. As I said, it can be used as one of the measures to comfort the baby during tests and procedures. So this would go with developmental nursing. So the benefits include uh, having a calming effect, reducing their energy use when they are calm, they don't beat about and they conserve their energy. And this can improve their growth and weight gain. It helps to improve their breathing and oxygenation by a calm baby having a smoother breathing pattern. Uh, they stimulate the stomach and this can help to digest more easily. The length of hospital stay mainly from the sucking maturation pattern and uh, Having a pleasant stimulus from the mouth instead of a noxious stimulus like inserting the feeding tube or inserting the endotracheal tube, removing the tapes, etc. Uh, this pleasant uh, stimulus may help to avoid the oral aversion uh, which often develops in the premature babies. Here the baby dislikes having things close to their mouth. So using the pacifier as a pleasurable sensation helps to avoid this. So we should have it as part of the neonatal developmental care and uh, all the NICU should consider early introduction of these uh, neonat friendly measures in their unit which is the center of developmental care in newborns. So I hope uh, this short video is useful. I request you to share it as well. Thank you.